do a lesbian couple living in Victorian Sussex have to do with Scotland? Let's discuss. Education had been a ferocious battleground for women in the 19th century. Sophia Jex Blake could be said to be a ringleader for the Edinburgh Seven. A group of women who in the 19th century took Edinburgh's education system by storm. Age 21, Sophia visited the USA and had been inspired by both men and women being taught in some universities. On returning home in 1868, Sophia decided to pursue a career as a doctor, so she set her sights on the medical school at Edinburgh University. The university court initially rejected Sophia, saying they could not make the necessary arrangements for one woman. Sophia put adverts into local newspapers looking for other women to study. Six other women applied. One year into their studies and ready to sit an exam, all hell broke loose. A vicious mob appeared outside Surgeon's Hall, stopping the women from entering until a group of janitors and bystanders managed to let the women into the building. Once inside the anatomy hall, the hell continued. A live sheep was allowed to roam free. Male students taunted, shouted and bullied the women. The women continued to sit their exams. To add insult to injury, once the women finished their studies, the university did not allow them to graduate. In 1873, the Court of Session backed the university's decision, saying the women should never have been allowed to study in the first place. The women moved around Europe in order to graduate. In 1876, Dr. Sophia Jex Blake moved back to Edinburgh and became the first female doctor in the city. She was keen to provide medical treatments for poor women within the city, setting up a clinic in the Fountain Bridge area. Years later, the clinic expanded and became known as the Edinburgh Hospital and Dispensary for Women. It was Scotland's first hospital staffed solely by women. One of the first students to attend Sophia's Edinburgh School of Medicine was Margaret Todd, later becoming Sophia's long-term companion. We can thank Margaret Todd for coining the phrase, Isotope. The women retired to Sussex, where they lived out the rest of their lives happily. <laughs> <laughs>